let's talk about nozzles for a second. Well, let's talk about like fire hose for a second. When we talk about water supply, yes. They have gases in the field. You see both sides. Don't, uh, they have gases on the side. And something I didn't go over, see this little, these little red things right here? These are locks. Storks, when they first were invented, did not have locks. And they're sexist, cut loose. How far do we have to turn them before they break loose? Basically a quarter turn. So not very much. Whereas anything that has threads, it takes several turns to basically break them loose. What we found out when we first got source connections, probably uh, 40 years ago, was we needed to have locks on. Because as the coupling sit in the fire truck going down the road and the truck vibrates, those couplings would turn. And if you were lucky when you laid the line out, coupling would hit the ground and break loose and go, oh, I've got a problem, I don't need to charge it. If you were un very unlucky, you would the coupling hit the ground, it would look like it's still in place, but it wasn't. Once you put that water pressure through it, it would break. So the NFPA, National Fire Protection Association here, basically said all storks connections from then on have to have the locks on them. To release the locks, this has got a lock right here. I have to depress both of these locks right here at the same time to release storage connection. So keep, keep that in mind there. Any questions so far? Okay, let's talk about nozzles for a second. Three types of nozzles there. What is this nozzle called? Smooth bore. Smooth bore. Well, it's cool. Straight bore. Smooth bore, straight bore nozzle is basically one type of nozzle. This nozzle basically is straight to the shop right through the middle. And this one does have a diffuser to basically kind of straighten the stream up a little bit. But basically, it's just straight through. What are the advantages of a straight bore nozzle or smooth bore nozzle? Penetration. Penetration. What else? Distance. Distance and reach. On a straight bore or smooth bore nozzle, you will have more reach and distance than a fog nozzle, especially in windy conditions. So if you've got the option, Sometimes you may have to go with a straight bore nozzle because the, the weather conditions are you're trying to reach something, a distance and stuff like that. What's the disadvantages of it? Do what? Yeah. That and it's it's one solid pattern and not any small droplets. Where, yeah, the surface area and stuff and and. Basically, you don't get the steam production as, as efficiently as you do as a small Each one has, it, has its place. Okay, we've got fog nozzles. The other two types of nozzles we've got. What type of fog nozzle is this? Anybody got a guess? Foundation. It's not really a combination. This is a completely automatic nozzle. Because if you look at it, there is nothing on it for me to be able to change it down per minute. Whatever the pump operator pumps is the amount of water I get out of this nozzle. The only things I can do with this nozzle is I can open and close it, and I can adjust my patterns. Ball, straight string, power cone, whatever I want. On an automatic nozzle, that's all I can do. 